So we're a, we're a dedicated DMC here based in with offices in London, Paris and New York. We operate as a tailor-made services, so our team are dedicated for piecing together every bit of the itinerary from the welcome reception, the welcome arrival, the transfer, the hotels, you name it. If they, if a guest wants to experience it, we'll organise it. The trends have generally been that we're seeing people wanting to, I mean, the word experiential travel has been banded around an awful lot, but it's really, really coming to life. We're seeing people desperately looking for that unique experience, looking to do something that's a little bit different. Um, our model AC Lux has really dedicated themselves to that, and we're finding that that's been one of our core growths, has been finding that unique and unusual event or unusual service to be able to offer. The problem is in this day and age, you put it out there, you put it online and suddenly everybody's got it. But it's nice to try and be the first to the market with something. The, 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 classics, um, the classics are a spin on, on, the, on the classics. So you've got your afternoon tea and it's, the, it's going to do an afternoon tea making class. So you're actually with a, with a chef who's going to teach you how to make it rather than just you're going to enjoy the eating it, but you're actually going to make it first. Um, in the same way of like the, the backstage tours of a brewery and the... The big thing obviously in the UK is, is gin at the moment. Gin is just exploding everywhere um, and we're seeing a vast amount of business growing in gin distilleries. We're seeing fantastic developments within, within the UK. I mean, the, the UK is, has been a great hub for us. It's where our gateway, it's our head office. Um, Paris has been a huge huge risk in the last year and Paris actually, we've seen the market come back in a big way last year after two very tough years. Um, where we're slightly worried is the VAT increase in, in Ireland. Um, the, obviously the border, border question is still there in Ireland. The recent VAT increase is certainly going to have an effect and the problem has been that for many years Irish hotels um, have seen the dominance. They've been able to dictate the marketplace and we're slightly worried at the moment that actually next year that could have a ripple effect and have a negative effect on the business into Ireland. Hopefully it will have a positive effect in other areas. I mean, Scotland certainly benefited from it this year and I would like to see that continue. And, and Scotland is, is hot at the moment. It's not very often you ever say Scotland is hot, but certainly today I'm telling you Scotland is hot.